guys and welcome, my name is Chameleon, in this video I'll be going through each animatronic's movements for Five Nights at Freddy's 1. If you wish to see tactics for each night and how to defend against each individual animatronic in more detail, I will be releasing another video soon along those lines with a night by night guide, so keep your eyes out for that one. If you're looking for a particular animatronics movements, here are all the timestamps in the video of where I talk about that animatronic. First, let's start with Bonnie. Bonnie starts on the show stage alongside of Chica and Freddy. Bonnie usually moves from 1A, which is the show stage, to 1B. Not all the time, but that is the most common movement. 1B is the dining hall, or dining area whatever you wish to call it. Bonnie can randomly jump across many rooms depending on the night. So usually, to give you an example on night one, Bonnie will usually move one room at a time. On later nights, Bonnie could jump from the show stage to your door if need be. However, normally, but not always, you'll hear footsteps approaching the door or when Bonnie's coming down the hallway. Most often, Bonnie will be found in either one camera 1B or camera 5, but will move between, in total, cameras 3, 2A, and 2B, on top of the already mentioned cameras of 1A, 1B, and camera 5, meaning Bonnie only ever comes down the left-hand side. Please note that with Bonnie, there is no need to shut the door until you see him in the doorway with your light. Take too long to shut the door, however, or fail to check if Bonnie's there at all, and he will enter the room. But don't, don't worry, this is not when you're gonna get jump scared. Oh no, 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 no. The next time you raise and lower the camera, that's when Bonnie will get you. If you are successful in shutting the door in the Waskily Wabbit's face, make sure you check the light for Bonnie's shadow before opening the door. Once Bonnie does disappear, he usually default resets to Cam 1B, the dining area, and then from there just rinse, wash, and repeat. As for Chica, she also starts in Camera 1A with Bonnie and Freddy, usually then, like Bonnie, proceeding to Camera 1B. This is where Chica starts to vary from Bonnie, however, in that Chica will head down the right side, making her way over to the bathrooms at Cam 7, and into the kitchen at Cam 6. There's no visual, and that's because you can clearly hear her clattering around in there, even without the camera up. The clattering noises, of course, will be more prominent if you are looking at the camera, but as I said, you don't need the camera up to hear them. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, like uh, like a mirror of Bonnie, Chica will make her way down the right-hand side through camera 4A and 4B on the right-hand hall. And again, like Bonnie, there is no need to shut the door until you see the chicken in the window. The same jump scare rules for Bonnie also apply for Chica, meaning if Chica has managed to get into the room, Chica will not jump scare you until you raise and lower the camera. Now please note that you can tell if someone is in the room as their respective door and light will no longer function. In this example, I've purposely let Bonnie into the room. You can see that the light and the door will not work. But if I move across to the right hand side, I can still shut the right hand door. Going back to the left, I can't do it. So opening the camera, flicking around a bit, doesn't do anything. It's the second I shut the camera, here's a jump scare, that Bonnie gets me. Now, when, as you just saw, once someone's in the room, this does not mean it is game over. In fact, I have personally made it through night three with Chica in the room from 3 a.m. Having Chica in the room is doable. Having Bonnie in the room means you can no longer defend yourself against the onslaught of our next animatronic.
Foxy the Pirate starts behind a closed curtain in what is arguably the only camera you'll need to watch, that being 1C. Foxy will become more active if you either watch him too often or not enough. To help keep track of Foxy, he does have four stages within camera 1C. Stage number one being the curtain is fully closed and you cannot see Foxy at all. This is the safest point in time you can be from Foxy. Stage number two, Foxy is peeking through the curtains and has become active. Stage number three, curtains are wide open and Foxy is right there ready to run. Stage number four, Foxy's gone. If you notice Foxy's absence, you need to close the left hand door immediately then jump back to camera 2A to watch Foxy running down the hall to trigger Foxy's attempt on your door earlier than it would be if you wait, simply waited for it. And this helps you save power. Because if you waited until Foxy came to the door, you'd be waiting that extra two or three seconds, wasting all that extra power. Now you can do the reverse and trigger the event by looking at camera 2A, then shutting the door to save even more power, but I would not recommend that if you are just starting out on FNAF. Stage 5, Foxy doesn't hesitate in racing into your office if you are not quick enough on the button. Some of you might be asking, why bother looking at Foxy so often to check when he's got this fairly set routine? Well, Foxy can skip stages. Just because he's got five stages does not mean he'll go in that exact order without skipping some. One second the curtain could be shut, the next Foxy could be pounding on your door. Also, Foxy drains more and more power with each attempt at bashing through your door. So one less run from Foxy can be the difference between life and death, so Foxy needs to be a top priority. And now onto the bear himself, Freddy. Like Bonnie and Chica, he also starts in 1A, but unlike every other animatronic, Freddy has an exact pattern that he follows each and every single time with no exceptions. You will know he has moved from one location to another when you hear a demonic laugh. Once you know the pattern and keep track of the laughs, it's hard to miss where he is. If you do forget where he is, it can be dangerous to figure out where he is as it will take precious time and power to find him. Freddy is sneaky. In most cases, all that is visible are his eyes. Freddy will not be shown on screen if any other animatronic is in the same room, besides 1A, the show stage. So what I mean as an example is if Freddy is in 1B, as well as Bonnie at the same time, then you will only see Bonnie. As for the sequence, Freddy moves from his place on the show stage, which is 1A, to the very back of 1B, and all you see are those two wide eyes. He then moves to Cam 7, into the bathroom. You see him peering around the corner in the closest bathroom. He then moves into the kitchen. But Kami, how do we know when he's in the kitchen when the camera doesn't work? Oh, that's easy. Flick over to Cam 6 and you'll hear that nightmarish song blaring through the speakers. But you can hear the song without opening the camera at all. Keep in mind, if Chica is in the kitchen as well, you will not hear Freddy's song. From there, he works his way down through the hallway from 4A to 4B where you get a nice surprise as he is no longer shy and trying to hide, but instead staring straight up into the camera right in your face. Unlike Bonnie and Chica, Freddy, once he's in 4B, will only move into the room if you open the camera 
and not looking at 4B whilst he is there, or if you open the camera and don't shut the right hand door. If you make a mistake by not doing what I've just said, you will hear that demonic laugh again. One final time. After that, it's a randomly determined amount of time before he gets you. Now there are two ways, as I've briefly mentioned, to stop him from entering the room. Number one, shut the right hand door when you look at the camera. You see me using this strat in the earlier nights of my videos. Or you can use the strat that I used to finally beat 4 times 20 mode, which is not a strategy I would recommend for people who are, again, new to the game. But if you're getting to night 7 in the first place, then this is the, what I would recommend. Open the camera. Only look at 4B. Don't look at Foxy yet. And I'll explain that tactic in much more detail in another video with a night by night guide. But for now, if you look at 4B and he's there in your face, he will not move into the room. But if you move the camera off him, it's only a matter of time. Now both of those tactics will prevent him from entering the room, and that is all of Freddy's movements. Freddy will occasionally move up and down the hallway just to give you the shits. So if you do hear a demonic laughter, and you haven't raised the camera, don't worry. He's probably just moved back up the hall one step, but don't let that get you. He will move back to 4B very quickly. Now for the wild card. Oh yes, there's a fifth animatronic. Golden Freddy. He doesn't care about your doors. He doesn't care about your power. And he will randomly appear in front of you at random stages on any night after you lower the camera. He will shift or phase in and out of your room at will. The only confirmed warning that I have found which gives you any indication that he will be there when you lower the camera is this. In 2B, there is normally a poster of Freddy, which yes, can sometimes change to look weird and freaky like this. But don't worry about that, that means nothing. What you do need to worry about is when that poster of Freddy changes to a poster of Golden Freddy. That's when you know he's in the room. If you miss that, or he appears without you looking there, instantly raise your camera to be rid of him. For if you don't, not only will you lose, not only will you receive a jump scare, but also, your game will crash. While we're speaking about abnormalities, there is one exception to regular Freddy's movement pattern, and that is when you run out of power, for he will never attack from the right hand side when you run out of power. He always comes at you from the left hand side. When you're out of power, all you can do is cross your fingers and pray. Pray that it takes Freddy a while to get to the door. Pray that Freddy sings that terrible, nightmarish song for as long as he can. The maximum time, of course, being one minute. And then pray that he takes his time coming into the room. Because once he's in the room, it's only a matter of time before. But don't stress too much. Once you're out of power, you can still tick over to 6am with Freddy at the door or even in the room. But don't bank on that strategy. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you uh, with your journey into the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Please keep a lookout for my next video, which will be a night by night tactics, including 4 times 20 mode, night 7. So that'll, that'll be out in the next week or two. Please keep an eye out for that. Um, if you want to get notified about that, please hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date. And I'll see you in the next one. Later guys.
Now you dum da dum 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 me. Dum dum da dum f off. I f see you. I don't like this. Hello! Do you like pillows? I do, because I'm not allowed anything hard. The button. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. That music will haunt your nightmares. People at Teletubbies are bad. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Jesus, okay, that's, that's a wascally wabbit.